as we start our meditation time, I just want to just share with you that this meditation comes in mid-sentence as Dorothy was describing a conference she and Phil attended. But before we listen to Dorothy, I want to invite, yourself, invite you to prepare yourself for meditation. Settle in, relax in your seat or whatever's comfortable for you. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes. Experience yourself sinking into your chair and allowing your body to rest all its weight. Relax your hands in a comfortable position and begin becoming aware of your breath. Breathe in deeply and breathe out, slowing yourself. Again, breathe in deeply. Hold and relax. Breathe out. As your breath becomes a rhythm, feel your body's sinking deeper, settling in. Breathe in deeply and hold. Release, breathing out. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out, naturally slowing your body, becoming calm. Now focus on your breathing and stay in this rhythm as we listen to Dorothy's words. Needing our blessing. The only way you ever get blessed is by the persons who can lift you up and they don't even have to know you and they don't have to know your problem. But there's something about that uplifted consciousness that raises us all up, right? Right. And you have a power within you that must be released so that we can help to do our work. So this morning as we pray and as we think about God and you know, at our minister's conference that we just came from, we laugh so much, you can't believe it. It is interesting how when you get unity people together and, and they begin to really, uh, you know, love each other as we do, and the Daily Word today says we're a family of love, there's an energy that just lifts you up. And I, I, I invite us all to get up there this morning. Get bigger than yourself. Get bigger than yourself. Get out of yourself. Get into God. So this morning as we pray, let's just open wide our hearts. And just open wide a mind and see that greatness of God, which is the reality of our being. And it isn't away from us, it's within us, as we said this morning in our television ministry. It's within us, that's the beautiful part. You don't have to go anywhere to get it, you've already got it. And so this morning, in order for us to be ready for the lesson, let us think in this way. God gives me all that I need to know. God reveals to me, reveal meaning unveil, nothing is obscured. In the early church and certainly in the old church in the Jewish tradition, the Holy of Holies was veiled and only the priests could enter in. But in the revelation of Jesus Christ, it's unveiled and we have absolute access to that God presence at all times. 
And so God reveals to me all that I need to know together. God reveals to me all that I need to know. Feel the power of that. Let go of trying to figure things out. God reveals to me all that I need to know. We might add every moment Jesus said to his disciples, I will put the words in your mouth. God reveals to me all that I need to know every moment together. God reveals to me all that I need to know every moment. Just feel your attention going deep within yourself. Feel your attention going to the heart. Feel that presence whispering in your heart. Guiding, directing, opening ways that sometimes see impossible seem impossible. God reveals to me all that I need to know every moment. Just hold that for a few moments. Jesus asked us to follow him and his words in one specific instance was take my yoke upon you learn of me my yoke is easy and my burdens are light follow me God reveals to me all that I need to know every moment. I am at peace. I am centered in love. I am that I am. And in this awareness, we bless all the people who come to our minds. And the older you get, the more people you've got in there. They come in unbidden. They come into your thoughts so often. And you say, I haven't thought of that person for years. Let them come in. Open your mind right now to the people in your life, the people you love and the people you have a little trouble with. Let them all come in. God reveals to you all that you need to know. Bless them, lift them with your thoughts. God reveals to you all that you need to know. It's wonderful for your children and for teenagers. God reveals to you all that you need to know together. God reveals to you all that you need to know. And, O oh, loving presence, we trust this. We believe in it. We have faith. We give thanks in the name and through the power of Jesus Christ. Amen.